Hi again. Uh, here we are to talk more about this uh, this weather thing here. And uh, so far, I've got everything working, you know, pretty good anyway. Um, we'll test it really quick here. We'll wait for this to uh, to load. There we go. And you know, we'll set the city to uh, Madrid. Right, and you can see I get this long number here, and I get these decimal values, you know, with a lot of, you know, numbers behind the decimal point there. Let's talk about formatting those, right? So, uh, so so far I'm just getting the values from our weather object, and the numbers are are doubles, or the values are doubles. So that's a decimal place, you know, it's a decimal number with a lot of decimal places. You know, the doubles are pretty accurate. Um, a pretty accurate number, right? Um, and I forget the, what the accuracy is exactly, but it's it's got a lot, like 16 decimal places or something, right? So uh, so that's pretty good. But uh, you know, for display, we'd like to um, to you know maybe show one decimal place or round the number off to a whole number. And there's a few ways to do that. Um, probably the best way to do it is using the NS number formatter because this is a class that's specifically made for formatting numbers, right? And it can format numbers in all sorts of ways. And there's lots of different ways you might format numbers. You know, currency is, is one example, you know. Um, and there's lots of different ways you might format currency, right? And NS number formatter handles all of that. So, um, it's really, you know, um, it really solves all your number formatting um, issues. And, of course, that makes it a little bit more complicated than, you know, just, you know, getting a simple number and displaying it, right? But it's not that hard to work with. So here's what I'm going to do. Let's, let's, let's do a quick test here. So I'm going to make a new, I mean, I'm in the set weather method, right? So this is where we display the weather. So right before we display it, right, which is going to happen here, let's format the values Okay, and so I'm going to start here with let formatter equal ns number formatter. Okay, so we've just made a new instance of the number formatter. And um, when you use this, essentially what you're going to do is you're going to um, use formatter dot um, string from number. So essentially, we're going to turn a number into a string. Okay, so this function takes a number in and returns a string. And we can test that by option clicking on this. And you can see here it says, you know, function number formatter takes a number and returns a string. Actually, returns an optional string, right? I mean, if we put something in here that's, that can't be converted to, the, to a number or we put something in that can't be converted to the the number, the way that we've told the number formatter to format it, then, you know, it might not be able to produce a string for us. So, this, so they make that the value that's returned an optional. So, uh, so anyway, let's give it a test here. So let's imagine we wanted to take the weather temp F, and that should be the temperature in Fahrenheit. And we just saw that it was, you know, a decimal number with a lot of places. They just ran off the screen, right? So uh, so how are we going to do that? Let's, let's put in weather temp f right here and then it's going to return a string to us so let's make a variable we'll just say f for fahrenheit right so this is going to give us the value in fahrenheit but it's going to return a string hopefully right actually it's going to return a a um, optional string so why don't we throw the uh, exclamation point there so that this will be you know, an unwrapped optional and then we won't have to unwrap it later you know you could use the if let syntax or you know, check for nil. Also, um, I'm pretty sure that weather temp f is going to give us a valid number, though. So I'm just going to do it this way. Um, now down here, temp label dot text. You know, right here we're going to turn the temperature into um, into the. Uh, you know, we're going to we're going to set it as the text of the label. So why don't we just put the f right there? Okay. So uh, you saw a minute ago that um, our um, our weather app, I think this was the one here, you know, it looked like this. What did I do? I got Madrid, and the temperature looked like that. Or if I get 
Paris, you know, the temperature looks like this, and we get a lot of decimal places. Um, let's try it now, okay? So I'll, I'll hide that and uh, launch my app again. And this time we will format the number with temp f, right, as, as a string. So we'll type in uh, Madrid. Oh, look, and it says 38 degrees. Or if we type in Paris, we get 60 degrees. So it essentially rounded the number off. Okay, let's, let's check it against the actual value. So, you know, if we just want to see how that works, I'm going to type in print and then type in um, weather.tempf. So this was what we started with. And then and we'll see that down here in the console. And then this value here is the formatted version, and we'll see that in the label. Let's give it a test. So we'll type in, uh, we'll just do the same cities again. Uh, okay, so here we got, you know, 38.1578000, right? And then it just rounded that off to 38. If I type in Paris, then we get, you know, 59.938. But you know what? It rounded that up to 60. Okay. So uh, what if you want to um, format the number with a decimal place? Right? So what we'll do is we'll say, you know, F, that's for formatter. Oh, wait, actually, let's put it formatter up here. That was the temperature, actually. So let's say formatter dot, um, what is it, uh, style? No, wait, it's number style, right? So we'll say number style is, and then this is actually an NS number formatter style. Okay, and then there's a few styles in here, right? So there's, you know, spell out style, scientific style, percent style, ordinal style, no style, currency style, currency plural, like there's a whole bunch, right? The one we're looking for is decimal style. And you can actually shorten this to just dot decimal style if you like. Okay, so this will be the decimal style and we'll, we'll test it again. So this time we get, any moment now, yeah. So we'll try a Madrid again, right? So this time I get 38.157, right? Or 158, right? Um, and it shows me the number. It's still maybe too many decimal places. So why don't we set the um, formatter dot, um, what is it? Uh, maximum fractional fraction digits okay so this sets how many digits the maximum number of digits to the right of the decimal point or after the decimal point right and you just set this to a value so let's say i only want one digit after the decimal place right maximum okay so we'll give that a test here and then if I type in, you know, Madrid, I get 38.2, right? So it gets the 38.1, and then it sees the 5, and it rounds it up, okay? And if I type in uh, Paris, I get 59.9, right? So that's the 59.9, and it rounds the 3 down, right? And you can, if, if this rounded off, if it was just 60 degrees exactly, then um, it would show no digit here, right? Because that's, um, you know, because there isn't a digit there. If you want to make sure that there's always a digit there, you know, if you want to have a zero there, in other words, right, you can say formatter dot minimum fractional digit. So we have to have at least a minimum of one digit, maximum of one digit. So that, you know, that would essentially pad with, with zero, right? If you need to round the number, there's also formatter dot, um, what is it? It's like rounding, yeah, rounding mode, right? And you can set this to several values. So we'll do NS number formatter rounding mode, and then there's round down, 
round up, floor, round half down, round half even, right? So you can choose those. We don't actually need to round these. Um, the standard rounding behavior is, is fine for us, right? But anyway, that's, that's how you do it, right? So we got our formatter there. You can set the number of fractional digits. You know, you don't even have to use that, and you saw that it would round to the whole number. So we could leave this out and just use whole numbers for display, right? I'm going to comment these out because that's how I think I want to display the values here. And uh, again, the number formatter returns a string, right? So, so here we return a string. You know, maybe for the um, for the cloud value or the um, min temp or max temp, we could use um, we could use the number formatter here again too. So um, we could say you know let min equal uh, formatter dot uh, string from number, and our number is going to be weather min temp, right, or temp min, right? And then in here, we could just put uh, min. And actually, you know, since this is a string, we can actually set the string directly here like that, right? Um, and then you could do the same for temp max, right? So we'll give that a quick test. any moment now. Oh, there we go. Right. So we'll do uh, Madrid again. And there we go. Oh, wait, wait. So I'm getting more. Oh, yeah, because I took that thing off. I should have I should have um, taken off the number style, too, to keep the number of, of you know, decimal digits down. Oops. Let's see here. Yeah, actually, I got to get rid of this, too, because I want a whole number, right? But anyway, there's your there's your number formatter. Right. So, uh, so anyway, I hope that's helpful and useful. All right. Let's do Paris again this time. Right. Oh, 60 degrees. Right. And then there's my, um, my other value here was 298. I got to convert that to a, uh, you know, a Fahrenheit or Celsius value. Right. I think I already did that in the earlier video. So, you know, if you look at the weather object here, um, I created temp min c and i just use a getter the same way that we set the uh, the temp f right so this just returns the the minimum temperature you know minus 273 to convert it to celsius right so anyway so you guys can work on that and i uh, hope that's helpful and uh, thanks for watching